What's up everybody, Noble Comics here to ask, can Ben 10 beat Superman? So if you've been watching my channel recently, you would have seen a very similar video that I did called, you know, could Ben 10 beat Goku? And it's hard for me to talk about Goku without also talking about Superman. So let's bring him into this conversation as well. Now, what I talked about there, it's going to sound very similar to what I'm talking about here. But of course, instead of the fantastical anime world of Dragon Ball Z, we are now in the world of DC Comics, looking at the big blue Boy Scout, Superman himself. Now, why is this even a question? Why is this even something that needs to be asked? It seems like the answer would be obvious, right? If you've watched Ben 10, what I like to call Prime Ben 10 of like the original and then Ultimate Alien, Ben 10 doesn't seem all that powerful. Many of his aliens, of course, have a great versatility of powers. He's got, you know, things that are super strong, super big, ghosts, ice, fire manipulation, electricity, sonic, super speed, all these sorts of things, but none of them quite reach the level of someone like Superman. In fact, most of them don't even come close. You see, Ben 10 is one of these interesting characters that, despite all of that that he has, he's not often used in versus battles, or if he is, it seems like he's thrown into an obvious mismatch every single time. But there is more here than meets the eye. So let's talk about the Omnitrix, the weapon that he wears on his wrist like a watch. So what it does is it catalogs the DNA of various alien races throughout the universe and allows the wielder to turn into that alien and more than that, turn into the prime version of that alien. Now, in some of the series, there are certain restrictions on it, like there's a cooldown period after you turn into an alien. There's a timer whenever you're transformed anyway. Maybe you only have a few minutes and you'll turn back into a human. There's just a limit in general of how many you can be. Originally, there were 10 aliens he could be. As the series went on and evolved, there were more aliens that he could turn into. Some of those restrictions got taken away, like he no longer had to wait so long, or he could switch back to back to multiple, or sometimes, you know, he didn't have a timer on his transformation. And this continued on to Ben 10,000, which is a future version of the character who's even more powerful. His catalog of aliens is even bigger. All of the restrictions are gone. He's got full power. I mean, that guy's on another level as well in terms of what he can do and what he's figured out with this weapon. However, still, everything that we've seen them turn into, again, some very impressive aliens. Like I said in the previous video, I think way big, one of his bigger aliens, was able to destroy a planet. He's planetary level. But that's like the very peak of what we see, for the most part, and if you've watched the series, you know where I'm going with this, that, that we see from the character. So it seems like Superman would obviously crush him. And I think if this is a random encounter, the two spawn in, they see each other as enemies, Superman stomps him 100% of the time. No matter what he turns into, for the most part, Superman is just going to stomp him immediately. However, there are two things that make this fight interesting and are typically what people pull up when they talk about doing fights like this. And that is the fact that, one, the Omnitrix has the ability to scan new aliens that are not in its catalog, and then you can turn into that alien. So obviously Superman's a Kryptonian, so Ben 10 could then scan Superman, turn into a Kryptonian, and then fight him on supposedly equal footing. Now, he would turn into the prime version of Kryptonian, and if I'm honest, I do not know what that looks like because Kryptonians are pretty much humans. So I don't know how you get more prime than just like a six foot four jacked dude, you know, which is essentially what Superman already is. So he would turn into a Kryptonian. He would get all the same powers that a Kryptonian has, and then the two would duke it out. So in this scenario, does Superman have a chance of winning? Does Ben 10 have a chance of winning? Well, I think that Superman obviously has all the advantages in more ways than one. We saw in the Man of Steel movie and, you know, pretty much any other movie that involves that storyline, as soon as these other Kryptonians get on Earth, and they feel the effects of the yellow sun radiation and they get their powers, it's extremely overwhelming to them. All of their senses becoming hypersensitive to what's going on around them. They don't know their strength, they don't know their powers, they don't know how to control it, so they're at an immediate disadvantage. I think this probably would apply to Ben, but probably at a much smaller degree since he is used to turning into new and strange alien pretty regularly, right? And he doesn't seem to have much trouble with them most of the time. Then there's a general skill gap between the two. Superman has obviously been a superhero longer, so he probably has more skill, but at the same time, Ben 10's been fighting aliens for years at this point. He's definitely a skilled fighter and has plenty of experience as well. 
but the main thing would come down to the yellow sun radiation. And it's no secret that Superman gets stronger the longer he's exposed to the yellow sun, so the older he gets, the stronger he gets. Versus Ben 10, who comes out, even as this quote-unquote peak Kryptonian, he will only have, what, minutes of yellow sun radiation, which would just bring him nowhere near power level someone like Superman. He'd have to camp out on Earth for months and years in order to stand a chance against the guy, and of course even during that time, Superman is also just getting stronger. Not to mention he knows how to use his powers more, which I mentioned just a minute ago. So I think if you do the mirror match between the two, you allow him to become this alien, you could even allow him to be any other alien in his disposal, pretty much, and again he still stands no chance. Round 1 goes to Superman, round 2 the mirror match goes to Superman, what about round 3? What about the third? That is going to be Ben 10's trump card. This is the reason why most of his matches look like mismatches, right? We throw Ben 10 against wildly powerful characters, and yet people will still say Ben 10 wins. And that's because of Alien X. This is an alien that we saw during the Ultimate Alien animated series, and it's essentially like the trump card, the beats anything that you have against it, most powerful alien in Ben's arsenal, if not just in the universe. Because what Alien X is, is a type of alien life form that was born from like the forge of creation. It's as old as the universe itself. They're immortal, they're indestructible, they're all powerful, omnipotent. They can will things in and out of existence. They can warp space and time. Literally, Ben 10 as Alien X survived the entire extinction of the universe and then willed another universe into existence with a thought. They can travel by the speed of thought against the entire universe whenever they want. They can grow to be the size of galaxies. And it seems like the only thing that can hurt these creatures are other creatures of that same type, other alien exes, which we did see whenever he fought the Black Guardian. And he was able to take him out by creating a galaxy-sized black hole and getting rid of him that way. But during their fight, we saw planets, you know, casually being destroyed by the two of them. We saw insane speeds again. And the stats on these guys, again, pretty much reach infinity in all regards, especially when you consider, again, the pure reality warping and existence manipulation that these guys have. The one drawback of this character is that there is sort of a council going on inside the character itself. This is similar to Young Justice, where the Helmet of Fate, if you put on the Helmet of Fate, you get all of Dr. Fate's powers, but you're also being possessed by Dr. Fate, the Lord of Order, and he has essentially taken over your body in order to act as this superhero. And you have to negotiate with him inside the helmet in order for him to release you, and you can then take the helmet off. It's something similar here, where inside Alien X, there are two entities, and then you become the third inside this one body, and you have to negotiate and argue and agree upon what you're going to do next. So if you, Ben 10, want to just fly around and fight aliens or destroy the universe, you have to first run it through the council and make sure everybody's on the same page, which can be incredibly tedious. And then again, on the flip side of that, it's not always obvious or not always guaranteed that you'll be able to leave this form and go back to being a regular human. You may not want to lose you because now they finally have a tiebreaker. But all of that said, does Superman stand a chance at all against Alien X? And my mind immediately goes to no. There's no chance, right? This guy's so far above a typical power scaling level of, of anybody, there's no shot. But I think you can think of these characters as sort of a living universe, if not like a piece of the universe, even though I think they technically like exist outside of the universe itself. But we know they can definitely be damaged and destroyed, we've seen it happen. So is Superman on that power level to be able to damage or destroy him? We've seen modern Superman supposedly like one shot a multiverse, so does that then mean that he could destroy Alien X? And I'll even say potentially yes. Potentially, if Superman was just able to wail on this being while it's trying to decide what to do next, there's a chance that he could win. I think if he slingshotted through a hundred suns or something, he'd definitely have a better chance. Base Superman has a slight chance that he could maybe do it. But even then, I don't think that that would happen. More likely than not, I think that Alien X would simply think Superman out of existence, and then that would be the end of it. And people are going to say, like, well, Superman is immune to existence erasure and stuff like that, and, and maybe, whatever. But the reality is that 
reality itself is a playground for somebody like Alien X. And unless you're another omnipotent being, you're probably going to lose. So in review, is there a chance that Ben 10 beats Superman? Is there a chance that Superman beats Ben 10? I think if Superman is just fighting Ben 10 as he normally appears and as he normally fights, Superman wins pretty much every time. If Ben 10 is able to scan Superman's DNA and turn into a Kryptonian, the two of them fight, Superman wins pretty much every time. If Ben 10 is able to turn into Alien X and fight that away, Superman loses every time. But that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with that? Do you disagree with that? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if there's any other scenarios that you would like me to look at. And I will see you in the next video.